just meeting people and experiencing new things, like going out of the country. I've never been to like Europe and that side, like cross the Atlantic Ocean. So just to see that life, it's going to be completely different, but very exciting. I'm so excited to make new friends with like a whole different perspective of the world. I'm, that's what I'm probably most excited about. I feel like we've been preparing a lot, but I still don't feel prepared. Um, I think that at some point you just have to let go. Bonnie is a former prisoner on Robben Island and well he gave us his backstory all the way from working with the ANC and the main crime that he committed to end up where he was. Today being Youth Day, what are your thoughts on the next generation? Do they appreciate the sacrifices made by people like you to end apartheid? Mm, that's a good question. Yes. Today as a Youth Day, some of our youth, they do appreciate it. And they true the knowledge they received from school, from going around, getting more knowledge about their, where we come from and where we are today. But what is critical, we don't want, the, we don't, we don't want to teach them hatred. We don't want that. We want them to understand where we will come from, so where we are, and what is their role. And then I always tell them that their role is to make sure they get educated. I loved the interview. We interviewed him to hear about his story, about how he got arrested, what he did, his experience on Robben Island, his seek for forgiveness. That forgiveness, it need to start from me. I must forgive myself so that I can able to forgive you, the other person. So I work through myself. You still you must work on you. You must tell yourself that your life is not ending. Your life is endless. You forgive yourself, then you'll be able to forgive another person. He made you understand what it was like, and the fact that he was willing to open up to us and be so vulnerable, it, it was not only impressive, but inspiring in a way.